that's right. Footstep quest. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. See, I'm only turning on the audio when we get to a cutscene, mm, otherwise I get too right. much echo effect. That's right. <laughs> I remember we had opened a door over here. I don't remember if we had explored everything. Yeah. So now we eventually got to work our way down into finding how to get into the sewer. Hey, Igor. Oh, Igor's here? Cool. Hey, Igor. Okay, I remember the blue double doors. I told myself to remember that last time. And so I remembered it, but I don't and remember And lo and behold, you did. <laughs> so, plus five points for remembering. Minus several thousand for not remembering why. Well, let's rediscover. Okay, I think I remember this. Let's go in the blue doors. Oh, this place. Got some more lore for us to read. No. Good. you remember what we did in here? I don't. Did we find a report or something? Probably. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember checking him out. Oh, wait, didn't we get a key? I think so. That's right. I came out here and I said I'd wanted to check it out another time. How are we on inventory? Uh, See, good news, it. there's only like a three second lag. You see, you say that, and that's what... Igor says that he notices the uniforms are more realistic and less image comics. <laughs> yeah. The shoulder pads, they, they brought those in a bit. So it's like, it, in reality, he could have just hopped over that little bit of railing. Gotten into that window. I'm still doing it. Oh, why did... Why do you have the ink ribbon? Because I forgot to put it up after I restored the game. Oh, that's right. Well, we also saved in the lobby instead of in one of the storage rooms. Right. So I'll go back in and do that, because it didn't appear that there was anything I could do up there. I'll just keep poking around over here. I'm sure we'll find another storage room. That's a good idea. Okay, we do not have the heart key. We have the spade key. Find the kidney key and the neutered key. <laughs> you beat me to that joke. Uh, <laughs> I was formulating it in my head as you spoke. Oh, did we get a did we get a number in one of the things? I did and I did write it down. Oh good. It. Yeah, because I was about to go check the files, but if you've got it, that'll be a lot quicker. Two two three six first floor, that's all I have. Hey, it worked. I will. All right. Points for writing things down. And now we have a map of the catacombs. I mean, the police station. <laughs> Wait, but weren't we already automatically generating a map, or does this just show us the parts where we haven't been? It might. It might. Let me see. Yeah, now it's showing us where we haven't been, I guess. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
Well, now we can always just say, okay, we gotta figure out how to go there. Police chief's just chewing on that curb while he's taking his calls. Like arugula. It's not very sanitary to leave it on the floor, though. Should at least get like a paper plate or something. All right, let's go empty out some of this inventory. Yeah, we got a full load. That's how you know you're playing an early Resident Evil game. Because I know one of the reasons we didn't set the gun down was because we were low on shells, right. and now we just found shells. To remember there's a storage box in here. Well, I wouldn't say that we've we're overflowing with shotgun shells right now, but Yeah. So that's a question, do we want to hang on to the handgun for the moment? Yeah, I'm gonna do until that. we find more shells. Yep. I believe we shall. I got two healing items, that should be enough. Yeah. Doesn't seem like there's much action happening. Hang on to the key, because you never know when we'll need it. Well, yeah, I think that's actually the next point, is to find all those spade doors. Or maybe just spade door. I, I don't remember how many there were. Well, we're over on this side of the building. Let's just take a peek at the map, see if there's any doors we haven't gone in yet. You are a genius, or maybe I'm just dumb. Alright, so yeah, so the next door over to the right of where Leon currently is. Well, we can't we get the in key. there because that's where the oh. policeman locked himself in. After okay, the that... stunning display of acting. So that's we, right. We if can... we go through the storage room, there's that one door there right. right on the far left of the map. At least give it a shot. Uh, my voice is probably a little rough because I actually had to go over to my mom's and shovel out her driveway. With your mouth? No, it's just, you know, cold air. Oh, okay. <laughs> it thankfully was only like 29 today. Tomorrow it's going to be a high of like 12. Gosh, it's probably like in the 70s or something right now over here. Saturday is going to, no exaggeration, have a high of 4. <laughs> And a low of minus 10 with a wind chill of minus 20. Well, you, you are up where that's normal. Yeah. Around and over and down. All right. Let's see how much of that I retain. So the door not letting you in? No, I was just checking the map again. Yeah, Igor says they're getting it in Chicago, too. Don't walk near the windows. Goro. Gotcha. <laughs> That's what they should tell every child. Goro will get you. <laughs> but daddy, what's Goro? Yeah, well, back in the 16-bit days. I will say, as crazy as the Mortal Kombat movie is, the Goro bits hold up really well. Oh, yeah? Goro was played by Malibu from American Gladiators. Nope, it was the other way. Ah. Go ahead on upstairs, because our next level is going to be in the sewers, so we might as well fill out the top level while we're here. Ah, that is the one I just went in, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> I really need to pay more attention to this. <laughs> okay, now I was... Uh... You're like, it's a door, I'll walk into it. Okay, now where am I? Right. Where are you? 
Well, I would suggest actually go back and go up the stairs, because... Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Door's over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It looked like there was... There was an archway. Maybe there's a hidden camera angle. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> It seems to show two stairways there on the map. Is there one going up, one going down? Yeah, that's a diamond. Bounce our way up the stairs. Bounce, bounce. And then we just have regular vanilla stairs here. Oh, I see. There's the stairs. It's an angled stairway. as long as we don't have to push those statues around anymore. Okay. That's right, that one's closed. What about you? You just know as soon as you open it's going to be something horrible. <laughs> like a place we've been before. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> oh no, a mop! Was, I guess. She's gone now. The true horror. Characters that don't stay in the rooms that they were in. You couldn't tell her what happened to his her brother. What was her name again? It wasn't Jill. There's Jill was in the first game. Right, yeah, I don't remember. Huh. Igor says, Zombie Mop! <laughs> I just love that one lone handcuff sitting there. Uh, hey, new, new area. Ooh. Hello, boys. Claire, yeah. That was her. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Any of them are there. At least you can shoulder check more than one at once. Yeah, that's a nice touch. There was another one too. <laughs> Looks like I got him all. <laughs> was he literally crawling for you? Wow. After all that. Yeah, how's your health doing? Coke after all that. Oh. <laughs> At least check the change. No. Okay. Does, does it literally say regular Coke or regular cola? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's really blurry. It's hard to tell, but it looks like regular cola. Yeah. With two L's. <laughs> it's not a very ambitious advertising campaign. I, th I think Chris wrote that label. <laughs> A oh, regular coffee. I got someone new in the chat. August Zero. Hello. We have never played this before. So, hope you haven't either, or you're very patient. <laughs> Otherwise, you're in for a frustrating time. Like in the first game, you get to the desk, it's locked. Jill is like, I have a lockpick. Right. Leon gets to the desk, it's locked. He's like, oh. Yeah, and Jill told me that the small keys were a thing in the first one as well. Ah. I'll bet this is a Cause, puzzle. Because heaven forbid he just hit the lock with the butt of his gun. <laughs> well, I wonder if there's a puzzle with the things on the ends here. Benjamin J in too. Hey Benjamin. Uh, 
Wow, a whole lot's happening. It's thrilling, man. Let's check this thing here, and then they're gonna start moving and crush me. Game over. No. That would be funny. I just know we probably encountered a clue last week and have completely forgotten. <laughs> probably, probably encountered a clue in the last two minutes and forgot about it. It's two doors standing outside of mine. You put it right over here. <laughs> Where was it left? <laughs> Straight that way. Nah, uh, data doors. files. Is there anything here we're supposed to read? Not so far. Which is surprising. Ben Benjamin says that's a pretty lame way to die in a zombie apocalypse crushed by a bookcase. <laughs> that's the way you want to die, eh? Huh? Alright, nothing down here. Let's let's go upstairs. You think these are gonna have an animation? I hope. Nope. No. It's still one room. Big dramatic camera angle on the banister. Makes me think something's gonna Someone loved their chemistry. Many of these books are comic books. See, I'm just waiting for Nicolas Cage to come in and tell us how what was written on the $1 bill is useful. Well, that happened. Yeah, it was very loud, too. Well, I'm glad I had the audio. <laughs> Do you think this relates to the bookshelves? Oh, there we go. And then it just gives me a blank dialogue box to scroll through. Weird. You want me to write this down? Yes, write down the picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have, have a way I can. You're print screening? No, I'm actually just doing a little code here. Okay. No, go back to it, go back to it. <laughs> Okay, so I got the order down. Okay. Benjamin says, if you pause the game and give me about 30 minutes, I'll draw it. <laughs> sure, let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, all you really want to do is move that one over one, and then the far one over one. Far left? Far left, yes. Ah, I see it. Yeah. Let's go kind of sluggish for some reason. And now I'm like, I just wrote down all that code for just two for minutes. For nothing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it literally cut to a screen showing us what happened instead of just making a noise, and we'd have to figure it out looking around. <laughs> Thank you, game. Maybe, maybe the game is taking note of how much I'm wandering around like an idiot, and it's like, eh, he's not too bright. God, now I hate this thing, because I literally wrote down, like, blue shelf, yellow, blue, yellow <laughs> shelf, blue, yellow shelf. <laughs> what was it? The something plug? Bishop plug. The bishop plug. Go, go I don't ahead want and to know your... what the bishop is using a plug for. There it is. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Well, he couldn't use his miter. Was there a door upstairs, do you remember? Yes. Okay, yeah. let's go check that. Let's see if another section of floor wants to go away and give me a heart attack.
Wouldn't it be great if that, like, floor giving way was an instant kill? <laughs> Why don't you just take a good peek, peek at the map? Left blank. Yeah. Let's take a peek at the map to see where we are in relation to everything. Oh, oh no, I see. We're over the lobby, I see. I love how our, our next goal is to get into the basement and the sewers, and so as we're just going up and up and up. And this is the steampunk room. <laughs> well, that's that's no attitude to have, Leon. What was the uh, the thing on there? Was it controls for the clock tower or something? Oh, do we have a crank? Not on us. Uh, I'm trying to remember if we put one in our inventory or not. Worth a try, you know? Yeah. yeah. I can't remember because there were so many cranks in the first one. Right. Yeah, I'm not... I can't remember if there was one in this one or if I'm just thinking of the first one myself. Well, we can at least just kind of poke around, map everything out, and head back down when we need to. Is that the end of the wall, or does it go down here? I think it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, that's the shadow at the end of it. That's why it looked like yeah. a right, That's useless. Okay. Hey Benjamin, before we're done streaming or before you leave, remind me about the stand. I've got something for you. Anyways. Oh, we never thought of going through the big double doors in the middle of the room before. a corner and we'll find out that they've all been standing on the other side of the screen. commenting on just doing something here real quick. I hear anyway. the I figured. Yeah. I'll be back with you in just a moment. Of course it doesn't look useful. It's not rendered like stuff that is. Thank 
So did we have a crank in the box? Oh, I didn't check yet. Playing with plants right now. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Well, that's square. The shotgun shells. I wonder if that'll... No. Uh, nope. No crank us in this game. Hmm. Well, maybe it's in that other side of the unexplored map that we haven't hit yet. Is the bishop... What, does, what is the bishop thing going to be used for? Is it like a, a lever or something? I don't know. Chess game or something. Oh, look. Another small key. Yes. Is there something else? Uh. Oh, hey, more words. And I'll be with you in a second. Now I, I found out that it locked me out of the stream. Oh. <laughs> you want me to wait for you? No, no, no. Okay. Keep playing. Playing, in quotes, right now. It's just reading at the moment. Anything important? Uh, just going on about the statues. Uh, maybe it's giving us clue about the statues that we already used. Right. Depicted a nude person being hanged. Oh, I see. You've rejoined the stream at a perfect time. Yes. I'm sure it's going to... Yep, now it's, now it's playing an ad. Take them out and save again if you want. Okay, so that small key, do you remember where that desk was? Uh, somewhere behind <laughs> that was me. was locked. <laughs> Come on, Jack, you need to remember where everything on this map is. I thought that was your job. Mine is just to shoot zombies that I can't see. Well, we agreed not to use a walkthrough until you at least die once. Well, we're using Chris's walkthrough. So, oh, I haven't even opened that. Well, we need that paragraph. <laughs> well, I mean, the first sentence still carries us into the sewer, and we haven't gotten to the sewer yet. It was find the two stones in the police station and go into the sewer. <laughs> Hot cop zombie. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is he going to set me on fire? This must be one? NBA jams, because you're on fire. Can I just save? Let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Great game mechanics. Most of that hurt. Not at all. Guess there's not much else to do up here at the moment. Closing all under all other distractions, just so no, I can you're focus not. on. That. I have I've closed my email. I've closed the Twitter. Twitterverse is now shut. Now come on, I still have people comment commenting on. I still have people commenting on my blood on my blood fist review. That's that, that that's worth taking a moment. If you didn't catch it today, I debuted my review of Blood Fist 1, and I will continue reviewing the series until I get to Blood Fist 9. 
also known as Blood Fizz 2050. These are what I care about while you're getting back to death by crows. <laughs> Resident Evil duck hunt version. I love the feathers. Yeah, that looks like a guy who's been back to death. Oh! I unmuted just as that happened. Uh, good. So it's not just me that a guy. Wow, oh, this music is loud. Well, I still hear birds, but the music stopped. Are they friendly birds? They're just like the ones in the first game that were just sitting there staring at you. Right. Well, they are the ones from the first game, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Igor agrees about the loudness. <laughs> yeah. Benjamin says Hitchcock would be proud. Damaged somehow. Wow. I'm taking a lot of hits. It's it's the BMX body armor. <laughs> Finally, something BMX that I can appreciate. He's ready to fly. Oh, did we just leave the police station? <laughs> I'm sure we're still on the ground. Okay. So let's see, we still have a few doors to open. We still have to find the crank for the hole. And find out what the bishop thing is used for. I'm just trying to, I'm not telling you to go back in, I'm just trying to map out what all we need to. Keep an eye out for. Throw up on a sound. We do still have that one locked box, or the one locked desk that we have a key for. It probably wouldn't even help us to open a walkthrough because it would take like 20 minutes just to sort out everything because we probably went out of order. Leon just looks so damn mopey all the time, doesn't he? <laughs> it's just kind of slumped. And... <laughs> well, the attitude still fits the haircut. Right. This is a guy and, who and needs the, the power of the glow. Oh, I bet you I know what that wheel is used for. It's used for taking up the last inventory space, even though there's more stuff to pick up. Now, what's the most essential? Well, we will take the hound gun bullets. Yep, Benjamin's calling it a night. Alright, see you later. No, wait, there's a typewriter here. Is there a, a box somewhere nearby? Well, remember, in this game, it kind of breaks from the religion. Uh, and sometimes you'll have typewriters without the storage box. Yeah. And there's an ink ribbon right next to this thing, but I can't pick it up. Yeah. Well, empty out all your bullets. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's new. Oh, hello. I love how it still lets you stomp their heads. <laughs> so every time I open the door, that's going to happen, right? <laughs> <It> <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be an... Ins 
Oh, really? <laughs> He's scared. I don't think she's a zombie stripper. Igor, she's just wearing a tank top. So yeah, we really are confined to the police station. Right? Okay. Probably they want us to take the valve back in. And once again, not a scratch even after that. <laughs> Jeez. Did we like implement like a god mode code or something uh, like yeah, that? Did I pick up a star man somewhere and didn't notice? Maybe it's the power of the bishop rod. Oh, now you know what we need is an animation of bouncing up the stairs and coming up on zombies. Right. I'm supposed to check this out. It's just gonna burn me. Not even the flames can make me care. I can't even feel. Oh, this is new. Ah, okay, this is what the valve thing is for. What did you think it was for? I thought say? it might be for the thing in the clock tower, but... Hmm. That's gonna actually be a crank. back again, but thanks. <laughs> I assume that's going to have us use it. What, why did you call me a jerk? <laughs> no, not you. The, uh, I was calling oh. Leon a jerk. Oh, okay. It's like, don't do this or you'll burst the water tank. So screw it, I'm bursting it. And look at this. The steam is probably going to hurt now. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta find a box somewhere to put stuff in. There's some right here. I am really surprised they didn't have a zombie right around that camera angle. Yeah. yeah mutant gerbils come out from the ceiling or the light fixtures now or something. Yeah. I guess I was messing with birds so much that I didn't even realize that there was a door. Thankfully it was one we had a key for. Oh, it's this door. Oh, okay. So we've pretty much opened up a lot of the area. Good. We now have context for where we are. It won't last. Don't worry. <laughs> no. Just as soon as we finally get used to this entire level, we'll have to move to the next level. Right. Like, oh, where the hell are we? All right, so our objectives are still unlock the one desk, find the crank, find the other door keys and figure out what the hell the bishop thing is used for. Not all of which are probably going to be in this area, but... Right, the one desk. Um, that, that we we can like at least a, try to find that. Right, it seems like... A good I think that was right up on the second story? Yeah, I think so too. It wasn't in the library room, was it? Or it was like right around that area. I left behind an ink ribbon somewhere. It's not really that pressing, though. Okay, what can we put up? I don't think we'd need this for a while, at least. Go ahead and put the plug... Maybe. Yeah, I'd say go ahead and put the plug away. And hang on to the keys. Yeah. Unless you think we've unlocked all those specific doors in here. Of course, we say that. <laughs> and then we'll be then. running back to a box to get the key. Is this we got, the we only got box two we've slots encountered open. so far? That should be enough, right? 
Is this the only box we've encountered so far? Oh, or was no. there another one? No, there's at least one more, if not two, I think. I can't remember. Oh, that's right. You've been playing this longer than I have, mainly because you're the one actually playing. <laughs> well, you did you did sign off of the stream for like a minute, so yeah. Yeah. That's right, you that were doing your inventory That makes me then. the veteran of this game. Right? We're at the point in Resident Evil where it's just basically keep going back and forth all over places you've already been. So how you been, Jack? Oh, you know. Been here earlier in this playthrough. Yeah. I remember that green door. It's the club. Yeah, we've been in here. Oh, uh, yeah, and there's something over there that we can't get to. Yeah. It's what? It's like, look at me. Look at me. You'll never, t you'll never have me. Is that really the official term for that? The magic mirror. Somehow I'm no, it's just it's so. just two-way glass. Right. <laughs> or one-way glass, yeah. Yeah, no no cop would actually say it's a magic mirror. <laughs> Leon would. <laughs> I mean I guess it's two-way glass for like a bullet or something. It's like well, no, it's it's two-way glasses where you can see through both sides. Oh, yeah, One-way no, glasses where you can see. Being, okay. being Leon is like, I use the word magic to try to bring some feeling to my life. It doesn't work. Well, I think you need to go out to the other side. <laughs> but it just ended up making them more depressing in comparison. Yeah. I think what you need to do is go back to that storage room, and there's the door behind it that'll take you around to that other big stairwell. Because I think it was the room past the statues. Okay. I believe. Yeah, it was after we went up and did this. We went past where the statues were. That's where we found the library. And it was somewhere around the library with the with the sliding bookshelves. It's a zombie. No, okay. I'm literally every now and then you open, time you open the door, I'm like, it's going to be a zombie. Though I love, I love how once you clear out a, a level, <laughs> it's pretty much stays clear. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have no ammunition left. <laughs> Which is supposed to be the point of survival horror, as I understand yeah. it. You know, you have to conserve your ammo and just run. But not so much of that, as yeah. you can see. <laughs> Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Slowly, I remember. Yes. Like an old man on the beach, slowly the memories they come. That's right, the Goro windows. Mm -hmm. Get some installed in your home today. But you know, at the rate he's going, he would probably be pulled into the windows and still be fine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he could probably get his head torn off and say, fine. Oh, wait, no. Is this, where is this? Oh, this is this room. With the fireplace, yeah. Oh, yeah, in the back, you're right. Mm -hmm. Where I got the jewel. Jewel one let's of just, two. Let's destroy a classic work of art. Zombie apocalypse, nobody cares. Wow, it's really a long way just to get to that stairwell. Yeah. Oh, 
This is the problem of making it a bigger, more expansive game. <laughs> takes you a shit <laughs> a lot of uh, th takes you a hell of a lot more time just to get everywhere again and again and again. No, I think you had it right the first time. It takes a shit of a lot of time. <laughs> we we passed up hell of a lot of time. Uh, two runs ago. It's gonna say a shit long time, but yeah, that's <laughs> I'd have let it pass. Okay, zombie mop. Is this where we want to be? I believe so. Keep going. I'm trying to... Uh, it's going to be out, like, the corner around a door somewhere. I don't know if it's specifically here. I'm so glad, though, that we don't have one of our expert players in uh, the in chat, chat with yeah, us. He's me like, too. You assholes, where are you going? Yeah, you just, you just ignore those people. <laughs> yeah. Let us discover our way. Make our own mistakes. Ah, there's there's an angle there. Oh yeah, yeah. With the with the jar on top, yeah. Nothing. <laughs> the hard gun parts, cool. Oh. What a. Can you combine those with the handgun? Let's see. Okay. What do you believe oh. that? What do you think the C stands for? Careful, you <laughs> only get one chance. Make it good. I think you said the careful handgun. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that then. I'm guessing. What does this do? Steady the aim? Does it oh, have like a yeah, laser sight or something? Yeah, see, you can see it in the uh, polygon model. Yeah, back when it, back when your handgun really needs a rifle stock. Okay, quest complete. Uh, what's next? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> what's in the door? I thought you wrote this stuff down. <laughs> well, I mean, we still haven't found the crank. We still haven't found the other keys. We still don't know That's what the true. bishop thing is for. That's true. Okay, so the rest of it is just one. Exactly, that's all stuff that we need to just keep in mind. Well, why don't you just take a peek at the map? Where, where have we not been so far? You know, you'd think I'd think of that by now. Uh, we <laughs> seem to have been everywhere on 4-2. Okay. We have not been in a couple of places on 4-1. I'm sure those are the keys we don't have. What about 4-3? Covered that whole thing. Okay. Well... Now the keys, the, the the doors that lead into the rooms we haven't been in, they're color coded, different colors. I wonder what. Pink the, and they're red. Pink, red, blue, and green. You know, I'm gonna just do something here real quick. Uh oh. We about to get cheaty. Let's just see where. I mean, the it's not cheaty if the alternative is just abject boredom, right? Okay, the key, the club key, is found by either Sherry or Ada on an old shelf after completing the puzzle where crates have to be moved to create original art. So, I don't know who Sherry or Ada are. If you did not meet Sherry or Ada at the beginning of the game, your game is unwinnable. Start over. I'm sure that this is Resident Evil 2. Yeah, it's Resident Evil 2. Okay, so that might just be for a level that we're not in yet, or... I don't know. And what was the other one, the art key? Or is it the diamond key? We have the art key, don't we? We have the spade. No, wait, we've got the spade key. Spade, Excuse me, okay. the precinct key. The heart key in the Leon scenario, is on the desk where you meet Marvin for the second time. I don't believe we've met him for the first time. Right now it's pronounced, I just wish that something would happen. <laughs> the diamond key is a large silver and pink key found by Leon 
on the crates to the left of the statue where you find the king plug. Yeah, we must be way behind then. There's a king plug. And a lot of this stuff is in the, is in the police department. Okay, the king plug is, is recovered from the chest of a large statue in the Raccoon City Police Department storage room upon placing the two red jewels onto the two smaller statues. And we have the two jewels, so this is theoretically something we could do. Okay, well, let's do it then. Where are these in the statues? In a storage room? You said? Yes. Well, technically, if it's a storage room, I can just... Hey, Gore, I'm just guessing on the pronunciation there, so... So it's either this storage room or the one now down near the front. Yeah, because I'm not seeing any statues. Let's go check one more time. The one, just to the one near the front had that big center, that podium thing in the center, but I don't remember a statue. I mean, I'll check it. It's right, it's right down the ladder. Yeah. And that is as far as I'm going to go in the cheats for the moment. Unless you want me to look up what the actual bishop plug does, unless it sounds too dirty. Oh no, let's keep the mystery. The imagination okay. just... Much and I shall not complete that search. Probably. We've got at least enough, enough of a cheat here just to let us go. A little farther. I'm hoping by storage room they actually mean inventory room and not just some setting. You know what happens when we assume the best with this. <laughs> there's that bust over there. Wait, there's two busts. There's one bust on either side, but there's the storage crate in front of one of them, so I don't think you can do anything. Walk over to the bust in the far left corner, see if yeah. anything happens. That wasn't what I was looking at, but alright, thanks. Can you use the jewel on the bus? Just see if it, anything happens. I don't think this is where we're supposed to be doing that it. That would but. be super opaque if that's what you gotta do. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's like early Sierra Adventure opaque. <laughs> uh, well. Okay. Any suggestions from here? I'm trying to remember where the other storage box was because I swore there was a third. <laughs> I just don't know where. How long we've been doing this? Four hours now? <laughs> uh, just about to hit an hour. Really, they don't have a good labeled map. They have a map, but they don't have one with labels on it. I'm about at the point where I'm just like, let's just start looking at a walkthrough. I'm getting there quickly. Let me at least just go start skimming through one just to try to kind of catch up to where we are. But I want to wait until we lose everyone in chat. And then... We've actually gained someone in chat in the last few minutes. <laughs> okay, we're back to this one. In the quiet hallway. Igor says the last game was pretty bad about labeled maps, too. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just talking about, like, looking at the actual Resident Evil wikis.
There's literally no shortage of maps, but nobody just writes, okay, this room is this. This room is, oh, wait, wait, I think I may have found one. And it's in a completely different location. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of knew how that, that's how that story was going to end. Oh yeah, that's the door of the zombie. Nobody can ever make it easy to just to cheat this damn thing down. Well, at least I can pick up the sink ribbon now. doors but it turned out to be nothing special uh, great I, I, and I found now maps that have all of the rooms numbered mm -hmm. but it doesn't have a guide for what the numbers stand for Oh, well, you gotta send money to get the legend. Oh, fuck. I bet you anything that's just the time to a walkthrough. Yeah. Go back to one! Go back to 38! Oh, wow! I found an actual map that someone hand drew from memory. Oh, cool. What's, what's wrong with it? Uh... And it's literally like, okay, room three, miscellaneous disc thing, question mark. Number five, oh shit, a liquor. Number six, this is where you get the crank. Oh wait, number six, okay, the crank is in that one door in the liquor hallway that we can't open. Oh, helpful, okay. Hey, we actually did learn something. Nine, save room, thank God. Okay, that's where the other storage room is. <laughs> so he's got this running commentary within his notes. Yeah. Uh, the other storage room is up underneath that big storage room. I don't think that's the storage room we're looking for. Room number 11. The dying black police officer. It's sad. He turns into a zombie. Room number 14, zombies from the windows! Oh god, more window zombies! <laughs> Room number 19, the zombie dog kennel. Have we gotten there yet? Don't recall that, no. Okay, that, that's in the top, le top right side of the map that we haven't gotten to yet, but yeah, it still doesn't say... I can't find out where this storage room is with the statues. Pick up the chief's herb. Ah, <laughs> once again, I can't. Should have known that would happen. Did we put our stuff in the safe. I mean, that's it's like a storage box, right? You should, but it probably doesn't have the pan dimensional of holding. Right. So, are you ready for me to actually open a walkthrough now? Capcom, you win this round. I don't blame you, but we're literally just running around like with no clue what we're supposed to do. Uh, which game, ver which console version is it? What, this? PlayStation. Yeah. Alright. It sounded like you were talking to someone in chat for a second there. No, 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 I'm just talking about game facts. Let's do the one by Peach Freak, just because that name is funny.
looking good. Well, yeah, I'm just reading through. We're in the streets with the zombies. Da, 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 da. I think we got everything that we needed on the streets before we got to the police station. Just because I didn't feel like digging in the box, getting the ink ribbon, doing all that. Yeah. Not that there's so much exciting happening instead. Yeah, there's the boss. I remember we were on the boss. Alright, police station. Vince Hall, head down the stairs, go up the ramp. Blah, blah, blah. Marvin. Oh, Marvin is the is the dying guy. Okay, that's okay. nice. He's the one who was dying. He gave us the blue card. We'll threaten you if you don't go. Lock the door. Set it off on the computer. Da, 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 da. You just read through until I see something we didn't do. It's a very amazing concise and clearly written fact, which is a breath of fresh air after Chris. It's almost disappointing. Oh, I see Foch has joined us. Hey, Foch. Yeah. Foch, uh, we're literally just wandering around while I'm trying to catch up on a fact because we caved in and they're like, okay, we're going we're gonna to use a walkthrough. Because we have no fucking clue where we are or what we're doing. <laughs> Oh, I see these shelves have reset themselves. Naughty shelves. Alright, Or Iker. maybe someone else did it. <laughs> Write a fanfic. In this room, kill off the zombies. I'd go for the female one first before she really bugs you. Misogynist. Yeah. way before. Oh, I don't recognize that. Can you go in that thing with the little police tape thing? Or is that just a closet? Or a locker? Okay, I see. It's yes, we will take the ham gun bullets. But aren't we using a sea gun bullet? Or is I'm using the care gun. Oh, I, I found out what the, the C handgun is. It's the Chris handgun. Oh, good. Because Chris needs a rifle stock on his <laughs> Oh, is that really what it is? No. No, okay. I mean, with regular cola, I, I don't really put anything past it. <laughs> uh, so far, we've done everything that's in here. Playing this game, I don't even want to watch this. <laughs> Hurry, please. Where are we going? <laughs> this is painful. All right, so we did the statues. Uh, okay, there is. Oh, there's another shotgun up there. But we already have a shotgun, so we don't need it. Um. The desk has a stars poster behind it. Examine the desk 50 times and you'll get a hidden film. Seriously? I'll bite. Okay, so this is... If we want to go see the hidden... Okay, you're there. What timing, right? <laughs> Alright, I only got to do... One fifth of the way through it now. And we found Chris's diary. We got the unicorn medal. Claire entered. We talked. Okay. I think we're halfway through. I'm only halfway counting. All right. You keep doing that. Let me know. 
Say this I can do. <laughs> Let's play. Oh. Okay, there was something that we were supposed to do. Um, okay, once you have the film, we go back to we go to that room where it's the development the the. Uh, oh yeah. It's the, uh, the black. Chris's room. secret desire. Yeah. Did you get it? I got it. All right. And you missed it. <laughs> well, I didn't know if we were going to see it. Okay. Go back to the room where we got the operation report. Okay. Oh, God. Where like was I'm going to remember that. Huh? <laughs> that was back in November, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, go back to where the liquor was. It's right off where the liquor was. Which isn't that far, actually. <laughs> We've lost two people in the viewing. <laughs> oh, that's it? I don't it? blame you. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Okay. Pair of double doors somewhere around here that leads into the operations room. It was the room. Yep, there we are. We're in the room. All right. It's in the back. See, the walkthrough is helping. Leon now gets to live out his passion. Oh god, no. Wexer, we don't need your pictures of teen girls. <laughs> Is that literally it? Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Well, that was worth it. Alright, let's see, where were we? Follow the film. We're backtrack all the way to the main hall. We did the unicorn thing. The spade key fell out. Looks like there's something I can pick up here. Oh. Okay. okay, now go back to where you, you, you found the liquor. There's one door in here we haven't opened. Use the spade key to unlock it. See, I can see what it looks like in that room in my head. But how to get to it from here? It says you'll find a mini ladder, push it up to a cabinet, get on top of the ladder, and the crank is up there. So close to the crank all this time. Oh, we picked up two new viewers. <laughs> we lose two, we gain two. Oh, don't don't be too obsessed. That's fool's gold. I know. <laughs> oh, is this it? Just need to figure out this fucking where this ladder is. Okay, so this is where the liquor was. Can't. Is, let's just keep trying on that door there. done with the spade key. How did we miss that? Because we passed through that hallway at least a few times. I think, I think we were like too far to the left or something like that. This is an awkward angle. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, okay, now go back and enter that door that you kept trying to enter this entire game. Oh, now it uh, works. Hey, it's our favorite part. Yay! Suspicious individuals skulking around the sewers. <laughs> I 
Okay, that means we're going to have some C4 somewhere around here. Resident Evil Solid 2. So across the bend you'll find a mini ladder. There it is. Push it up to a cabinet and get on top. Is it the cabinet at the end there? I'm not sure. <laughs> Way to use a ladder. Puzzle <laughs> solved. <laughs> Did he literally just jump up like three steps? <laughs> I wonder if that's why it, the animation shows such a bounce when he goes up and down stairs. Because he's literally like skipping three and four stairs at a time. <laughs> okay, All right. Here. Yep. Now, uh, go to the dark room, put the crank on. Well, hang on, we might need to use that. Where are you? Zombies. Going through all the stuff that we've already done. This is the whole uh, bookshelf thing. Okay, yeah, go ahead and head up to where the bookshelves are, because we're gonna be going up to that place where you use the crank. Do you remember where that is? Where the bookshelves are? Yeah. Yeah, go up the stairs and past the statues. This way? Yeah, up the big staircase. See, as your trusty navigator, I am starting to remember a few things. If you want to save time, we can just go to the main lobby and climb the ladder. Too late. <laughs> okay. Okay, what am I doing now? Here's the statues. Something around here. Yeah, it's the doorway behind them. Well, so it was about this time that Leon went back to his favorite hallway for the seventh time in the past hour. Igor says, saving time in this Let's Play, never. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a Let's Play so much as a Let's Yawn. Yeah. down that one hallway? Yeah, that's where we found some some hand grenade bullets. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, bookshelves ahoy. Alright. I go through the double doors. Maybe I just walk forward. Follow the path to the middle of the area. You'll find the ladder. Okay, yeah, this, you know where you are. Just go to the left. Wait, no. Yeah, just go around. Am I using the ladder? No, no, no. This was where you were supposed to lower it the first time. Uh-huh. 
So just keep going. Follow it to the other door, then open it. You'll be in the waiting room. Should, this should actually be a storage room here. It is. Yep. Waiting room. Let's peruse some of the magazines. People, entertainment weekly. Boring. It says on the other on the desk on the other side of the room is the secretary's diary. Did we read that? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay. Ink ribbons and so okay, there's also a shining object on the bench. It's a small key. I think we did that already. Yeah. It's right here, I think. Opens the desk in the same room. Alright. Oh, C stands for custom handgun. Hmm. Well that's no fun. Oh, okay. Which which you can actually set it on an automatic fire mode so it fires three bullets in succession. So oh, that's good. what that does. All right, when you're back at the waiting room, open the door next to the typewriter. So you blow away the zombie next to it. Okay, so you want to go down towards the camera. this oh hello oh that's that helicopter okay yeah I was wondering why why the walkthrough said there's a fire but we put that out already anything in there is that a door next to the front of it no no across in the top right corner See, when he said it doesn't look like it's possible to get to the other side for a second, I thought he was talking about that door that I'm standing in front of right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> Mister, I'm going to jump right to the top of a stepladder. <laughs> that's the best way to describe him. So we're off the fact right now. We're just... No, that's just fine. Poke around. Oh, man, it does this every time. No, I will not. I'm gonna look around in case I find something that I actually need. Fine. Yeah, we haven't had a jump scare in a while. Feels like we're about due. That's because we burned through the entire game so far. Uh, oh wait, is that shining over there? This might be the storage room that was referenced. Oh, yeah, the bit. statue with the two statues. Okay, yeah. That's the diamond key. Once you pick that up, let, let's put the red jewels into the two small statues. So we got the diamond key. Make your crude joke there, if you like. <laughs> You filled the hole in her heart. Case, the diamond jewelers. Oh, movie time, special. Feast your eyes upon my sternum of terror. It's a really freaky statue to put in a police station. Oh my god. Oh, we got the king's plug. Yep. And we still gotta pick up that diamond key. Yeah. Alright, well, we took care of that. Resident yeah. Evil, where a handgun is the same size as a key, is the same size as a crank, is the same size as a can, is the same size as herbs. Anything else hiding in here other than that ink ribbon that I can't pick up at the moment? Uh, I don't think so. As I said, we're off the Let's fact, the but. Brush it off, you philistine.
Alright, so but if we go back down to the other end of this hallway. Was that something that happened earlier in the game that I just forgot? The helicopter smashing into the building? I don't know. That might have been something that we saw in the opening cutscene. No, 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 not that door, the far door. Yeah, I was doing a quick save just in case because I don't feel like doing oh, this sorry. again. Uh, I'm, I, the helicopter going down might be something we saw in the opening. Wait. Here again? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the same place. Yep. Mr. Pecker. Oh, wait, that came out weird. Yep. yep. <laughs> Crows will come out. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Already did it. Get to the end of the hallway, you'll be outside. Oh, okay, so we are going that way. Well, because we're going up to where the crank goes. Oh, all right. And go down on the stairs, we'll be back on the street. Well, it's not a stream unless I do the, all that nonsense at least once or in this case oh, wait, seven times. You went back? Yeah. <laughs> I look away for one minute. Well, that's what happened, you looked away. Stairs. Right. Down the stairs. That's, that's really my only choice, I think. Yeah, we follow the path. Alright. Open the door leading to the game and get the valve handle. This is a dead end. I'll say this once. Do not open the door near the typewriter. <laughs> so that's where the zombies come in. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we go back up to the helicopter. What was that? Wait, go back okay, to this the is helicopter just, room? Yeah, no, th go back up to where the helicopter. This was just taking us to putting out the fire. Okay. We already got the handgun bullets from the helicopter. Back inside. And it's doing the three statues. Take the king plug. I'm gonna crack up laughing if whenever I was going the other way was the right way to go. Afterwards, go to the crow hallway and open the door you unlocked earlier. So, okay, the crow hallway, this hallway, we just want to go to that blue door. Is my joystick going or something? It's kind of being all stuttery with his movements. Yeah, there, there we go. I think that's it. Yep. Bottom the stand. Da, 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 da. Examine the dead man for handgun bullets. So, what? That's the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Okay, go in the door. We're literally just tracing our entire route. To the entire game. Because we didn't do that enough already. Yeah. Uh, hey, we 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 actually did get some important things so far. That's true. All right. Go into the little office. You'll find the safe that has the police station map. Go back to the other room. See, now this guy's a smart player because he's like, okay, fire two to three rounds into the zombies, then finish off the rest with your. Use the shotgun two or three times on the zombies, then pick them off with your handgun because it'll only take one shot each. Am I right. going through these blue double doors, or is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? I'm not sure. Okay. Enter the blue double doors on the other side of the map. Oh, I like this guy. <laughs> right, go to where the zombies were and follow the hallway to a door and open it. I 
think the zombie. I don't remember which way the zombies were coming from, but. Uh, I think this, that was it, and this is certainly a hall. Go the hallway to the door, open it. In this hallway, kill the three zombies. You might have already followed this hallway until you find a door. Finally, um, new stuff. Unlock it with the dime. Have a gun equipped. <laughs> Action, please. Oh, hey, stuff. And I have no spaces. Yeah, we probably should have stopped by a box before we came uh. here. Oh, well. Yeah, the Rook plug is on the shelf. Oh, well, fuck. Guess we gotta go and find Well, here, if, if you want to, there's gonna be a, a liquor. Oh, is there? Turn to the door and walk slowly. A, a liquor will burst through the mirror in the room. I knew it. Is there storage in here? No. Now this was the shiny thing. Yeah, and we were just in there. That's where we were. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll fight the monster, just for the sake of having something to do. You can't get the monster. Won't come until you get the rook plug. Oh well, then we can't do anything. So we gotta find a storage box. <laughs> and and Leon turns dejectedly towards the door. You know what? I may not even archive this this uh, this stream. This is this is really yeah, bad. Yeah, this this has just been us trying to figure out where we went wrong. <laughs> Watch two cavemen play a game. <laughs> Okay, so where we got the diamond key, where the um, where the the the, two, the statue with the jewels was, there's a waiting room not too far from there. I don't remember specifically where. Though. Yeah, this music sounds way now, but this will work too. Uh. This is the storage music. So do we want to save and call it a night, or do we yes. actually want to press on <laughs> And Igor says, and that's the difference between live streaming and playing a game. When you just play a game by yourself, you don't have to worry about the boring part so much. Well, obviously, we don't ha we don't worry about them when we're live streaming either. <laughs> yeah. 